Orange is the season for giving, and California needs the gift of conservation. Waterwise Santa is currently in a fantastic native plant garden. I guess he needed a break from the elves. So Save Our Water invited him down from the North Pole. Save Our Water is working hard to remind Californians that because of things like shifting weather patterns, we have a new water reality. We all need to conserve water, rain or shine, and there's a lot you can do. And here to share his secrets for saving water is Waterwise Santa himself. Welcome, Santa. Thank you for having me. Now, why is it important for Californians to conserve water? So, despite heavy rains or big snowstorms, California is actually facing a new water reality. I've been working with Save Our Water to remind Californians that because of climate change and extreme wet to extreme dry weather, it is important to always conserve, and there is a lot that we can do to do our part. Our hotter, drier climate and reduced water supply are forcing Californians to think, live, and act differently. And how can Californians conserve water and still create a beautiful landscape? Think native and water-wise plants. Water-wise yards and gardens like this one can be diverse, functional, and beautiful spaces without a large green lawn or thirsty flower beds. California landscaping can be varied and beautiful, and that's why the Save Our Water campaign is reminding people that there are small changes that we can make in the yard to contribute to a water-wise future. And are water-wise choices expensive to implement? Uh, no, actually, I'm glad that you ask. You can create a California native plant garden to fit any style and budget because there are thousands of water-wise choices to choose from to create a beautiful California landscape. And remember that you can create these that are beautiful year-round and also provide a habitat for birds, bees, and other pollinators like butterflies. They're also low maintenance, so you don't have to worry about mowing that lawn anymore. And drip irrigation actually helps to only use the water that you need. And how can actions taken today help with future water needs? Well, little changes in what we do every day can make a big difference. If it's raining, turn off those sprinklers for at least two days. Use a broom, not water, to clean your driveways and sidewalks. Make sure you're washing full loads of laundry and here's a water-wise tip. Did you know that the dishwasher actually uses less water than washing those dishes by hand? To learn more about saving our precious water, rain or shine, visit SaveOurWater.com. We'll see you next time.